It has officially been more than a year since my last 10 reasons to root your phone video, and a whole lot can change in the rooting world within the span of a single year, and so I thought it was definitely time to put together another episode. So if you yourself are asking the question, should I root my phone in 2023? Well, here are 10 reasons that might just convince you. You ready? Let's dive in. And kicking off the list today, we have Project Thema, a root-only application that allows you to customize the quick settings panel found on any phone running Android 12 or higher with an AOSP or pixel-based ROM. With the app installed and activated, you'll be presented with a huge range of customizations that you can use to transform the look of your quick settings panel, including a bunch of pre-made themes for a super fast setup process. But then you can also dive in and change just about every individual element yourself as well, including customizing the accent colors, adding gradients, changing the shape of the quick settings tiles or the style of the brightness slider. Plus there's a heap of other options as well. And the great thing is once you've installed the app and rebooted your phone once, most of the customizations are able to be applied straight away without the need for further reboots, making it a super convenient customization process. And speaking of the quick settings panel, a subtle but super useful reason you may wanna root your phone is so that you can use this app called Better Internet Tiles. And as the name indicates, this is an app that unlocks new tiles for your quick settings panel that allow you to control your internet settings much better than the stock internet tile that was shipped with Android 12. For anyone not running a Pixel or AOSP based ROM with Android 12 or higher, then for a little bit of context, when the Android 12 update came around, Google decided to remove the separate Wi-Fi and data toggles and instead replaced both of them with a singular internet toggle. And so that meant if your Wi-Fi was playing up and you wanted to disable it to just use your mobile data, it was now just that little bit trickier to turn it off. But with better internet tiles, you get the option to add four new tiles, a dedicated Wi-Fi tile, a mobile data tile, an NFC tile, but then a brand new upgraded internet tile, which allows you to actually toggle between Wi-Fi and mobile data properly. Now you can use this app simply by granting access via the Shizuku application. But for me, I much prefer the speed and simplicity of granting access via root. Now I'm sure most people watching this video would be familiar with Tasker in some way, shape or form. But if you haven't heard of it, well then just know that Tasker is the absolute number one application for handling any automation based task related to your phone. But you can also level up the sorts of automations available if your phone is rooted. If you head over to taskernet.com and add the tag root, then you'll see a huge list of automations that you can import and use with Tasker if your phone is rooted, such as closing specific apps from running in the background, recording screen touches and then playing them back, detaching apps from the Google Play Store so they're hidden from the auto updater, manually turning on or off the Nothing Phones glyph lighting, plus, as you can see, heaps, heaps more. Like this list of root only automations might even be worth its own video altogether. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see by leaving a comment down below. Now, this next reason to root your phone is kind of crazy and it's called Pixelify Google Photos. And as the name suggests, this tricks the Google Photos app into thinking any phone is a Pixel phone, therefore unlocking all of the Pixel exclusive features. But by far the biggest feature it unlocks is the free unlimited backup option for any and every device. Well, as long as your phone is rooted. Now the app does require either the Ed Exposed or LS Posed modules to work, though both are pretty easy to install. And then you just select whichever device you want to spoof, which by the way, needs to be set to the Pixel XL if you want the unlimited storage option to work, then you four stop Google Photos and away you go. And here's another reason to root your phone. Stratosphere performance. And if you thought the days of using root modules to maximize your phone's performance were done and dusted, well, this module might just convince you otherwise. This module is essentially able to unlock an advanced gaming mode for any and every phone. And it does this by maximizing your phone's CPU and GPU for the absolute best gaming experience possible. And you can even use the module to customize your phone's display refresh rate. There's also other stratosphere modes, including a maximized battery setting and a performance mode. So pretty cool that even in 2023, we're able to unlock additional performance capabilities for our phones using root access. 
All right, before we get to the next reason to root your phone, I just wanted to take a minute to thank today's video sponsor, Hyperwrite. Hyperwrite is a powerful AI writing assistant that can help you to write anything faster, all whilst making you sound more confident and professional. After signing up, you will gain access to a suite of amazing tools that will level up your writing experience. There's Type Ahead, which will suggest words and phrases as you write that fit your context and style. There's also the Rewrite tool, which will rewrite your text in any way you need. And then there's the incredible Auto Write, which is kind of like having a magic wand that can create pretty much any sort of content out of thin air. Hyperwrite have also just recently added a huge collection of templates in a massive range of categories that will allow you to turn a few words into exactly what you want to say and in the right format. And they've also just introduced their very own chatbot tool enabled with GPT technology, which will help you with research, idea generation, plus heaps, heaps more. You can start using Hyperwrite completely for free, no credit card required. And if you want to unlock the full power of this incredible AI assistant, then you can sign up for a premium plan for only $20 a month. All right, if you're a Pixel phone user, but you're also a fan of customization, then like me, you probably don't love the stock Pixel launcher given how limited the options are for customization. That being said, if you've ever used a third party launcher instead, then you'll know that you really do not get that same ultra buttery smooth experience that you get from using the default launcher. And so enter Pixel Launcher Mods, a root only app that unlocks a huge range of customizations for the stock Pixel Launcher itself. With the module installed, you get the ability to use third party icon packs, you can hide apps from the app drawer, and you can even replace the at a glance or search bar widgets with a different widget of your choosing. I'm just hoping that the developer can figure out a way for us to hide both the at a glance and search bar widgets at the same time, because as of right now, you can only replace one at a time. And speaking of customization, if you've ever wanted to change your system font, then Font Manager is a root only app that unlocks that very functionality. You just select the font you want via a terminal emulator of which there are literally hundreds of fonts to choose from. Then you reboot your phone and there you go. You can also use this module to change your phone's default emojis from iOS's emojis to Samsung's One UI emojis to even the old and faithful blob emojis. Very cool. And then we have another root module called Wi-Fi Bonding. And this is a very technical module that anyone with a Qualcomm chip supported phone can use to essentially increase Wi-Fi speeds. Now, if you haven't heard of the concept of Wi-Fi Bonding, it essentially combines both your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connections for even faster and more reliable Wi-Fi speeds. Now, the developer does mention on his GitHub page that you may need to remove your saved 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks before installing the module to actually see a speed increase. And some devices already support this feature natively. So as always, your mileage may vary, but for those that it does work for, this is definitely a worthy reason to consider rooting your phone. All right, second to last today is another magic module called XML Pack, which essentially gives your phone the ability to download and install vendor apps from the Google Play Store. What are vendor apps? Well, they're apps that manufacturers have made specifically for their phones that are not normally available for any other devices. But with the XML Pack module installed, you'll be able to see vendor apps from a range of other manufacturers. So for example, with this module installed on my Nothing Phone 1, I can see all of OnePlus's apps normally only available for OnePlus phones, such as the OnePlus Launcher, OnePlus Weather and so forth. And I can even see the Pixel Launcher app normally only available to Pixel phones. Now, keep in mind, not all vendor specific apps will work on other phones, but it's pretty cool that we can use such a simple root only workaround to start seeing some otherwise hidden apps on the Google Play Store. And so finally today we have Warden, a really incredible root application that we can use to detect and manage trackers and loggers on our devices. Now, not all loggers are bad necessarily, but there are a bunch of apps that essentially collect and send users data to the developers without our consent. And Warden will help us to figure out if any are installed on our devices, and then it'll make it super easy to either disable or even clear them if they are. There's also a few other really neat features as well, including a de-bloater feature, as well as a nuke it feature that attempts to automatically disable all trackers, but it suggested that you only use this if you know what you're doing, so keep that in mind. 
Aside from all of that complex functionality, the app still manages to have a beautiful UI and design, so definitely worth checking out. But that's it. 10 reasons why I reckon rooting your phone is something still worth doing here in 2023. Definitely feel free to let everyone know of any other additional root only apps or features that you love using. But that's it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.